Hi friends, in this video, let's discuss about, let's have a discussion on the MSBA opportunities and the salary packages. See, most of the people are uh, sending out a mail like uh, for MSBA person, what are all the suitable opportunities and what are all the salary packages? I think most of the pressures are having the same question and uh, like I got around like uh, six to seven mails with the same question. So where are we will be getting the opportunities where all the areas oh, we need to work and what are all the salary packages we may need to discuss uh, during the interview discussions. So if you go to the opportunities side, so these are all the list of opportunities for the MSBI developers. If you know the complete MSBI, you can work as a MSBI developer. And if you know only ETL and reporting, then you can work as an ETL developer as well as reporting developer. So when I say ETL or reporting, so it means that you, if you know SSIS comma SSRS, that's enough here. Next. So there are some companies where they have only ETL projects. So there you can work as a ETL or SSIS developer. And there are some projects. So where they need only the cube and uh, multi-dimensional developers. So that is nothing but a SSIS developer. And there are very rare companies where you can go and work as a SSRS or reporting developer. See here MSB is a combination of ETL a cube and a reporting so if you have an opportunity to work individually then that is also good so these are all the three individual opportunities you will be getting based on the requirements with the projects and so if you know sql if you are strong in the sql along with msb that is going to be an advantage to you and you will get more opportunities and along with that if you have a msbi along with the dot net it is going to be an advantage to you because even dot net is also a Microsoft uh, uh, platform. If you know along with uh, um, MSBI.NET, then it's going to be added advantage to you. So these are all uh, well known to everyone, but the people used to raise a question like, uh, so do I get an opportunity only to work on ETL? Yes, absolutely yes. There are some clients, there are some projects, so they need only ETL. So there are some applications, they need only the cube development. <clears throat> So there are some applications they need only reporting uh, related stuff for at least for six months or one year. Yeah, if you if there are some chances like that, like you are suitable for these positions. So these are the list of opportunities for the MSBI. Now, if you go to the packages side. So these are the list of uh, uh, packages. So for MNCs, so you can ask like if you have so uh, like a couple of years of experience year into 1.5 lakhs to year into 1.8 lakhs you can ask let us assume it you have three years of um, msbi experience then you can ask from three into 1.5 4.5 lakhs to around a uh, six lakhs so if you have around six years of experience then you can ask nine lakhs to around uh, 12 lakhs similarly if the company is a medium scale company is then you can ask year of experience into 1 lakhs to year of experience into 1.45. So it depends on their uh, uh, projects and urgency even. So these are all the list of um, uh, packages or the opportunities based on my experience, based on my uh, exposure. So if you have any questions, you can drop your question in the message section. I'll try to answer it. Thank you. That's it.